Submarines can launch Tomahawk missiles from two different ways, from torpedo tubes or from vertical launch systems. Torpedo tubes are cylindrical chambers that can fire torpedoes or missiles horizontally from the submarine's bow or stern. Vertical launch systems are vertical tubes that can fire missiles vertically from the submarine's hull. Both methods have advantages and disadvantages, depending on the type of submarine, the type of missile, and the tactical situation. Torpedo tubes are more common and versatile, as they can be used by both attack submarines and ballistic missile submarines. They can also fire different types of missiles, such as anti-ship missiles, anti-submarine missiles, or land attack missiles. Torpedo tubes have some limitations, such as a lower capacity, a slower launch rate, and a higher risk of exposure. To launch a Tomahawk missile from a torpedo tube, the submarine has to be close to the surface and expel water from the tube using compressed air. This creates a noise and a bubble that can reveal the submarine's location to enemy sensors. Also, the Tomahawk missile has to be fitted with a special booster that propels it out of the water and ignites its engine in the air. Vertical launch systems are more modern and efficient, as they can store and fire more missiles in a shorter time and with less noise. They can also fire missiles at different angles and trajectories, which increases their range and accuracy. Vertical launch systems are only available on some newer models of attack submarines and cruise missile submarines. They also require more space and weight on the submarine's hull, which reduces its stealth and maneuverability. To launch a Tomahawk missile from a vertical launch system, the submarine has to be submerged at a certain depth and eject the missile from the tube using a gas generator. The missile then flies out of the water and activates its engine in the air.